Good morning, everyone. Um, welcome to episode 15, I think it is. If you like to watch grass grow, if you like to watch paint dry, then welcome to Jack Sarge Farming's Banished Adventure, where the excitement is really happening. Here we are. It's a lovely day, six o'clock in the morning. Already been up since five, done a heap of jobs. Thought you might appreciate this beautiful early morning sun. Look at how things are changing with the trees that are coming up. Check out this avenue. She's a beaut. Look at that. It's gorgeous. Wunderbar. So yeah, trees all over the place including on our new uh, block. Why don't we? Well, I'm set up over here at the moment, ready to do the only, well, major job that we want to do today, and that is to mow this meadow. Look at all that. Plenty of grass waiting to be mowed. Let's take a jog over here. Oh, not that. Oh, it's doing that again, isn't it? Yeah, it's doing that trick again. I was going to say take a jog over there. Um, I'll get you over there eventually and show you, because as you can see, there's some trees and stuff come up all around that new shed up there. Looks rather different, as, long, as well as the new trees and shrubs around here. But still no sign at all of those pine trees. I... That was a few episodes ago that I planted the first of them, and still no action. Well, I hope something happens soon. So this is a big, big job. Let's have a look. We want to mow this. Yeah. Get this harvested. So first things first. Oh, you might notice the money is only 30734 even though we've s skipped forward a good day and a bit or more. Or anyway, from May into June, I did have a lot more money than that. But I've bought something, something special, which I will show you soon, soon. The big reveal, the thing I said I needed to get. But I need to make sure that I had the money and I sort of figured out that we had enough time to get it. Anyway, I'll show you soon. Now, let's go up, 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 up. Here we are, cow shed meadow. Cow shed meadow. We're going to create a job. Ah, it's not 2.8. It is 7. I might have to come back and let's do three headlands. Let us generate. Okay, that's for ups and downs. I reckon he could cope with that. It's not the heck the equipment's not too heavy. Let's see if he can if he does this, whether this up and down sort of business. Oh hang on. Think, think, think. Hmm. The challenge is going to be with full forage wagons. It's a great idea, but full forage wagons going up the hill might be a struggle. I'll just have to go back and do the tidy up myself with the mowing. We don't want to waste too much of this good grass. I don't mind wasting a bit of scungy old meadow grass, but this, this is the good stuff, this is. Let's start him off on his clickety-clackety way. Beautiful. Oh, it's one of the ladies of the farm. So yeah, that one, that hilltop meadow there, that's um, it forage stage but not at full length stage like this. 
magnificent looking grass. I thought I'd bring you, uh, thought I'd bring you in for this early morning. No, because once again, it looks like the forecast is for it to go all cloudy, and it? The colours don't look as nice when it's like that. This is really quite pleasant. See, I've got a few plants and shrubberies. And these, uh, what are they called? The, they call them a downy service berry or something, and there's some oats in the mix there as well. So, let's think. What other equipment? This is not a swathing mower, so we're going to need a window. So what I might do is... <gasps> no! I've revealed it. Uh-oh. Forgot that it would tap to it. I better get out and explain myself. Uh, that was a bit dumb, but anyway, <laughs> this is this was meant to be my big reveal. I've got my combine. This is the special class slash Ford special. Uh, the class 108 Dominator SL in Ford livery, marketed through Ford dealers, as it says up on top there. What a cool combine. This is the Mark Thor Special. It's one of his mods. And it's a butte. 300 horsepower. And it can take this header. Um, I can also get um, like um, corn and sunflower headers for it. But this is, uh, what does it say on there? 770. So it's... Um, 7.7 .7 meters wide so it's got your class badging and your Ford badging on there so that's that's pretty good nice little matching trailer what a beauty so we are we will be ready next month when the harvest comes in I'm looking forward to it really I'm looking forward to it and what the first things to come in should be this wheat because that was the first thing we planted. Looking forward to getting the straw. I, I'm, I'm even thinking, actually, considering, rather than using a forage wagon to pick up the straw, is actually making some bales, straw bales. So we, we only want it for the cows. Uh, I'm wondering if I could... I should do that. Oh, uh, yeah, and this... This, I'm pretty sure this uh, field here of um, oats is due uh, next month, I think. Yeah, it's at forage stage, so it should be ready next month to harvest. And the same with, I think, the one after the gardens as well. So what we might do, now I've done the reveal, is I might tab up to... Actually, why don't we... You know, let's just jump around. Um, I just want something to cart things. So. Yeah, I might use this. So we've got some... Um, yeah, we've got some milk. I've already sold some cheese today. Um, still got 9,000 litres in there. Um, I don't know as we've got a lot of milk up in the sheds. Yeah, it's only just starting again. I've sold the slurry too, but we're all topped up with food. No births yet, but we must be getting very close because we've got nine here on 90%. So what I think is I'll do is I'll jump in the mog and I'll grab the windrow and we can bring that up to the worker. Looking nice around here. Everything growing up. Just wish, wish the trees would just at least jump up a stage. The uh, pine trees, that is. They just seem to be 
staying the same for months and months and months. Maybe that's what they do. And all of a sudden they'll sprout up. So let's, whey, get out of the crop! This doesn't have the bestest turning circle. Okay. Here we go. Oh, clip! We'll get this up to him. Him or her. Whoever's going to be doing the rowing part. I might take you for a drive first. Show you. Um, you see that avenue up there? Let's have a look at this avenue over here. Trees. Looks real nice. Yeah, I think that. Yeah, that field back there. I think that's going to be ready next month, except for that corner that I stuffed up on. <sighs> so yeah, I've got a. I planted a row of elms here. They look quite splendid, eh? Huge trees. There's one there. And he's up at the new shed. So this is our grass field has come up. Just here. We've got a few trees there. Oaks and an elm and some shrubs and stuff. Yeah, these have both had a, a double application of fertilizer, and so this is up as well. So we've got a lovely oak here. This is looking good. This is going to really test the uh, the new uh, Ford Dominator. <laughs> so you can see some oaks around the edges there. So we'll probably, I'll probably put more trees in, but I just wanted to see how much space they would take up. Um, these little shrubs will fill out more as well. They've got a bit more growing to do. But it should, you know, along with the hedges, start to be a bit more of a windbreak I'll try and put some more probably put some more trees along here uh, yeah so we've got another elm here oak service berry uh, yeah so this is the view from here looks really nice very different part of the no man's land map that's really in part why I wanted to do it as well because I you don't see a lot of playthroughs up on this part I mean partially because it's not very spectacular out the back but um, but it's also hard ground to work and it's just a bit you know you don't normally see it but yeah, we could put some more trees along here. Hide some of that backdrop a bit more. It'd be quite nice. Maybe mix it up with some hickories and stuff. But yeah, this is nice with the early morning sun coming in. And um, yeah, there's a in that pack, uh, there's actually a bale storage um, shed that goes with this pack. And that was another reason for me thinking I might do some straw bales. Even though it's a little ways from the cow shed if I put them here, but I don't know if there's space up there. There might be. There's a couple of flatter areas up there, but I don't know if it's enough. I'll have to see the check the footprint of the building. Yeah, so we've got our um, bigger forage wagon up here and our plough. Not much else yet. So in time we'll um, we'll put more up here. So, we'll get over to this.
to go back the way we've come. So yeah, I'll I'll take you a get on the drive from this direction as well. Yeah, it'd be nice to see those pine trees come up and I can get an idea of how many I've planted and how much more space I've got that I could plant things. <coughs> so this is quite a nice avenue as well. The elms here. So the, yeah, the cow barn is a bit more sheltered. Yeah, I, so if I bring this here. Let me drop that off there. Yeah, the um, the bale shed, I don't think, let me see if I can find it. Oh, here's the sales section. There wasn't much that I could afford or look at, seriously look at. It'd be nice to have a good mower set up, but I'd need a more powerful tractor. Or a better mower set up. Um, what I've got's fine. Um, let me see. Was it in here? Mm. There it is. So there's this shed and silo. I think this um, would be something more for probably the other side. But there's this. Now, this is 25. Saying not enough money because it's too much landscaping. I, I wondered if there was enough room over here anywhere for it. But I'd have to do more terracing, I reckon. Yeah, I think it would change the landscape too much. Uh, here, but possibly. I'd have to flatten out a space there. Um, but it is a drive-through and it wouldn't you wouldn't better drive through it then. So yeah, we may have to put this at a distance from the cows. So back across here. Yeah, even there it's not enough money. I don't know. Wow, serious amount of landscaping obviously needs to be done. So yeah, I'd want to flatten this out beforehand, I reckon. Wow, yeah, it must be a lot of landscaping. So yeah, I need a bit more, a bit more landscaping and a bit more. But I, I think that could be good. It's nice. Leave enough room between the two buildings for the tractors, and that would be nice there. Um, you can put 250 pallets or bales in there. So, yeah, now where was I? Okay, guys, uh, let's tab about the place. Okay, so, leave it with me. I'm going to pause the recording here. I'm going to tidy up the mist bits. There's a few strips, and then we'll come back with our windrow. Catch you a bit later. Well, guys, I decided that I probably make sense to have my grass working equipment up here in the new shed. So yeah, I put the cutting bars. In there. I don't think I need them down below. Not so much anymore. 
This is that lower field down there. I turned it over from uh, being a grass field to being uh, sorghum. Yeah, so. Grass fields at the moment are uh, up on the more onto the hill. So we're gonna grab our windrow now. Myself enough room here. Maybe not. I just need to move the mog slightly. So yeah, I uh, tidied up, caught the rest of that grass. We might send this fellow if you'll go. He should go. If we just send him to. Go and pick up our big forage wagon. So I'll bring up um, I think that area is called Heap Big Mo. We just want him to drive up there for the moment. We'll get out. We now we can hook up to our wing rower and set it on. I really like this tractor and the Ford, both be really beautiful tractors. I would lo love to have a uh, even more powerful uh, vent so we could in time buy one of the uh, bigger mower setups and for you know hauling the Roller up and down the hills with easy. Okay. Oh. He's all right there, so I'm just going to see this champion of course. I suppose I should start, I might start in the middle rows. Let's have a look. Okay, so he's still got that job. Uh, we want to get rid of that. Let's bring that up, clear that course. And create a new one. 6.5. 3 is fine. Um, start. start on the center. Yeah, center. Generate. So where's the start point? Up here somewhere. Okay. Oh, we went underground there, inside the hill. Oh, 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 don't do that. Well, fancy that. That's a bit novel. <laughs> That's a bit glitchy. Who'd have thought the hill would be so hollow? Um, there we are. That's nice. So, yeah, this outside strip. Headlands. Very good. Okay. We will leave him to get on with it. And here we are. This is the heat big mode area. We need to retitle it and put some uh, other points of interest up here, like that field, put a marker. Marker for that one and one for the shed. Somewhere here. So, yeah, I need to. The shed isn't real good for huge tractors getting into. So, we just want to get this fella over.
Well, it's a bit of a peaceful, quiet day here on the farm. Just doing a bit of grass work, apart from the routine jobs. But the big exciting thing, I guess, is the arrival of the new combine that the uh, folks at the store kindly delivered it up to us. Obviously, we paid for that delivery. It's going to be very interesting to see how it goes. And I think that the first three fields that it's going to work aren't going to be too much of a challenge. Being, yeah, they've got a bit of steepness looking down on that one. There's a bit of a slope, but not as much as some of these other ones. That's for sure. So yeah, it'd be nice if I can to, by the time we come to harvest, maybe I can raise the money to get a baler to put our straw into bales. Yeah. I mean, can we? We can put straw in there, but it doesn't. That's already doing quite a lot of work. Um, so just unhook. So it's either I put in a, a dedicated silo for forage crops or I go the bale route. And if I go the bale route, that means I can use that really nice shed. It just means I've got a few trips. So we've got our little trailer, but I think what it will mean is I'll want a bigger uh, bale collector, bale trailer, something like that. Um, so that that's a couple of purchases. I just think that will mix it up a bit, make it a bit interesting. A bit more interesting, let's just use that, that um, building for a bit more. But we're looking ahead, that's looking ahead. So hopefully we'll have enough money. We'll have the second day of June to um, make a bit more money. And hopefully that will see us right. We won't be buying any more land for it straight away. Um, but it would be great to be able to pick up that straw and bale it up. Square bales, I'm thinking. They, uh, hopefully they won't... Hmm. They might. Oh, I could regret it, actually. I'm thinking now. They all slide to the bottom of the hill. Over there in that field, particularly. Mm. I don't want to get round bales. Yeah. I have to think about that. that that's not something that I've given enough thought to. All right. Well, leave me with it. Uh, we're going to go on and do this grass work. Um, might bring you back when I'm ready to collect it up. It's a bit of a sleepy, quiet old farm episode here. But we'll catch you soon. Bye for the moment. And um, we'll start to pick some stuff up soon. Well, it looks like the sun's gone behind the clouds already. It's a shame about that. I was enjoying the extra light. It's been pretty cloudy of late. In the game. So, we've uh, done the rowing. Just got to hook up to this little beauty. And... Uh, course plotted. I wonder if we could, if the points are close enough to each other, we could do um, 
might have to have a look. See if I can set up a pick up and deliver. points along here. Maybe I'm... I'm really not very good at this. Mike gave me some advice. Oh, Mike gave me some advice, but I don't think I'm very good at putting it into action. Um, if I go along here... call this, uh, what is this field called anyway? Um, Cowshed Meadow. If we call this and then stop that. I really don't know if this is going to work. Um, because it's probably like yeah. Anyway, so hmm. Pick up cow shit, you know. Deliver to Forage hilltop, get the grass, do that, bring up this. We want to start at the first waypoint and then we want it to go to the nearest waypoint. Mike's probably seeing this and saying to the screen, Oh dear, Jack Sarge, that is not going to work. <laughs> you have to do something or other. And he's probably right. I have only got my learner's plates up for that. <laughs> as far as course play and auto drive go. We have those in Tasmania. When you're just learning to drive, you can put up your L plates on the inside of the windscreen and the back window and then when you've got your license you have to put up P plates for provisional driver See if we can actually get around. Catch you later. Well, I stuffed it up completely. Ah, that little point I made didn't join up to the right piece of track, and then I got confused and I clicked the wrong thing, and I had him. He anyway he ended up going. He was going to go down the hill down the zigzag hill. I went and clicked the wrong thing and ended up deleting the course on this field. So I'm going to end up doing all this myself, I guess. Oh well, that's all right. I'll take my time. <laughs> For the next couple of days in the game, well, the rest of this month, June, it's not going to be a lot to do. I just hope the weather improves because I was just looking, and the longer range forecast for July is for rain. Two days of rain when you're meant to be harvesting? That's not so good. We'll see how that, often these change. And if I have to, I, if I've got, if it's only, only going to rain for two days in that window, then I'm going to go into 
easy death and make sure that there's some sunshine because <laughs> well I mean that'd be crazy <laughs> um okay well I'm gonna leave it here guys as I said it's a quiet sort of episode but we'll we'll Ooh, a bit more cheese there we'll leave it down here in our magnificent combine I reckon I'll get him out actually let's get him out let's get him out now Show him off. Fantastic. That is going to be really so much fun using that. Anyway, guys, this is me. This beauty will probably be on the thumbnail because it is just so cool. <laughs> and. I will catch you in the next episode when the plan is we will be doing our first harvest after being here since August last in-game year. It's going to be excellent to be able to do some harvesting. We'll get the crop, put it in our flour mill, we'll get some straw, we'll give it to our cows. We will be back in business. Not that we haven't. Anyway, thanks for watching, stay special, and we'll catch you in the next one.